this is going to be a video review of the Polder digital scale that I picked up at Costco. Item number is 1183826. So let me unbox this thing and we will see what it's capable of. This thing is definitely large. I don't know what normally these would be. Display extends out uh, 5.4 inches. Not sure what all of that means. Um, low battery indicator automatically turns off after three minutes without use. Dual magnets on pull out display allow for easy return placement. Large stainless steel weighing surface is easy to clean. It's definitely large. Pull out weight display extends five and Find almost five and a half inches from the scale. Okay, looks like we have a battery compartment over here distributed uh, by Costco. There's the part number that I just gave you over there. So let me go take this out of the package. All right, it's out of the package. Nice plastic uh, cable over here. Why did I get this thing? Do I really need something like this? Do any of us need something like this? I don't really cook. So if you're a baker, you might be able to use this for measuring your uh, ingredients instead of using measuring cups. So that might come in handy. Why did I get it? I bought it because I rescued a dog almost six months ago. And when you take the kibble out of the bag, the kibble is in different sizes. So maybe a, a quarter of a cup is not really a quarter of a cup. And I know a few extra pieces of kibble is not going to make that much of a difference. But... She's using so much, uh, I'm using so many different kinds of foods now, freeze-dried foods and different uh, size kibbles, different brands, and I'm trying to make things a little consistent so I can keep her in tip-top shape. So that's why I bought this thing. Um, got a little plastic piece over here to remove the battery. This, this, so, oh. okay, so this is definitely different than... This is really different than most other scales. Let me try to get some better lighting in here. Sorry about the reflection. Um, so that's unusual. You've got a, a wire. I didn't know how this was going to work. You get a wire that uh, allows this thing to extend five inches. And I'm hoping that this is a piece of plastic because nothing weighs five pounds when nothing is on there. Five pounds. Uh, okay, there we go. So, uh, I don't know what this dial is for. Maybe nothing. Maybe it just looks really pretty. On, off. Is there a switch over here? Um, not really sure how this works. Is this a button over here? Maybe I need to read the directions. So I couldn't figure out how to turn this thing on. I was pressing the buttons and nothing was working. Um, I thought I had removed the little plastic piece from the back, but you have to turn it over and open up the battery cover. And there is this little thing over here that's blocking one of the batteries. Um, and then you press your on off switch. It really shouldn't be this hard to do. And hold it on. I thought you could press the on-off switch and turn it on. You can put an item on here and it should turn on automatically. <laughs> All right, here's my review. Unbelievable. Um, there it goes. I pressed on and it came on and it zeroed out and so that's showing ounces Now you should be able to press the unit button and change the reading I'm trying to change the reading of ounces okay I've changed it to something fluid ounces grams I don't know if you can see that in there it's on grams. You're probably not going to be changing this setting too often, but 
the switch is extremely difficult to register. I don't understand why this is not changing over. Wow. Okay, it just shut off. Did it just, it just you get a reading right away, so that's a nice thing, but Oh, now we just went over to milliliters, is that it? I don't know why the switch is just not sensitive enough. Let me hold it down for a few seconds. Ounces. Okay, so this, the switch is really... It's such a nice looking item, I really want to keep it, but I'm not really thrilled. Fluid ounces grams, milliliters, ounces, fluid ounces, grams, milliliters. So let's go to ounces. And let's try the on-off switch. I think you hold it for three seconds and it should turn off. Okay, we'll hold it for three seconds, it should turn on. Um, the neat thing is it's got an auto on, auto off feature, and you can zero the thing by, if you have something in a container, you can put the container on here, and then turn on the unit, and then tap the on off to zero the thing, and then measure whatever you want to. Um, I don't understand, oh, kilograms, pounds, okay, I didn't see that stuff before. Ounces, fluid ounces, grams, milliliters, ounces. It never wants to go over to pounds or to kilograms. Milliliters. Um, you see over there, I, I don't know if you can see it because there's light reflection. There's pounds and grams. Maybe we'll put it to ounces and we'll measure and see if it kicks into pounds. Okay, so we've got one pound, that's how it works, one pound, two ounces, so that does work, and let's go try this on milliliters on metric. The only thing I can say is these switches are not sensitive enough, and it's absolutely ridiculous that I have to play games with this. I should just be able to tap on here, I know you don't want it to be too sensitive, but I should just be able to tap on here. And if my video reviews help you, please thumbs up, subscribe, or a like. If you want me to review a product, let me know. If I can get a hold of it, I will. Sorry about that light reflection over there in the video. I just bought some new lighting, but I can't get it to work the way I want it to. Um, fluid ounces. And th this, is, this is ridiculous. So, not that any of us are going to be switching between milliliters. If you live in uh, the U.S., you're just going to keep it on fluid ounces and, or ounces. But this shouldn't be the case. I like the, uh, that you're able to move this a few inches away, but I don't know why you would need that. And I'm pressing on the button, and I cannot change... So we've got gram. Oh, I had it on grams. Let's get it back to grams. So if I press on here, it should go to kilograms. It's definitely neat. 10 kilogram max. Let's see if I can get this to kick over really quick to ounces. So the ounce is 22 pounds max. So this would be a nice thing to be able to use for baking or for measuring. I just. Uh, Bought the unit, has four AA batteries, and the battery gauge shows that it's almost dead. So I bought a unit, and I'm going to have to put four new batteries in here right away. So my review of this thing is, 
I'm sure it's a beautiful, it, it's very attractive. It's really nice. This has got, it's magnetically held in there. I don't really know, again, why you would need this. Maybe some people would want that feature. I don't know why you would need it. I don't like that the switches don't, they're not sensed, well, now they're working. No. I don't know. Let's try the on-off again. It's got an auto-off feature after a couple minutes it shuts off. See, uh, okay, now it kicked on. And it will zero out. Let's see. Let me put some weight on here. And now you should be able to press the on off and have it zero out. And then you could put something on here. So if that you had a container, then you could get the measurement. So that's nice. Let's turn it off again. Okay, well, um, so if you don't turn it off after you measure something, the display will dim, but it will still be using battery power for three minutes. And let me try the, I can feel the switch, I think the switch is there, grams, milliliters, I can, yeah, I can feel the indent over here right now, it's a little further in. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting this back in the box and returning it because I am not happy with the switch action at all. And I don't know if I got a bad unit or if this is just the way it is, but you know, a scale like this should be able to plug it or take it out of the package, pull the battery tab, press the button, boom, it's on, boom, 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 get your units, stick something on there and get a reading. And I'm playing all these games with the switch. And if that's how it is from the start, I, this should have shut off by now. All right, I think uh, the video speaks for itself. <laughs> Why is this thing not turning off? There it goes. Um, let's try this switch one more time. Make sure you watch all my other cool videos. I posted a lot of neat stuff online. If you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. Let's go change the unit again. Milliliter, ounces. All right. I don't know what else to say. I'm sure a lot of people are happy with the scale. I'm not happy with the initial impression, so I'm going to be taking it back. But uh, it is definitely a solid scale. This has got some serious weight to it, probably a couple pounds. And uh, I'm just not thrilled with some of the actions over here, but maybe you'll like it.